Good morning. It's Thursday, February 16th, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. All is quiet across the state of Georgia this morning. Just a few light showers moving through northern Alabama. Had some strong thunderstorms just grazed the northwest corner of the state around midnight, but that line has already moved on out of here. So we're looking at some more showers moving our way as we continue through the day today. Let's take a look at our current temperatures across the state. We do have mid-50s over most of the state of Georgia, some low 50s in there as well. Uh, Augusta's at 48 degrees and LaGrange also at 48, but other than that, some fairly mild air as we get started this morning, relatively high humidities as well, so that is going to help fire up a few thunderstorms. We do have that level 2 out of 5 risk of severe weather for extreme northwest Georgia from Dade County all the way down to about Carroll County, and then level 1 out of 5 risk of severe weather covering metro Atlanta down to Columbus and to Blakely in southwest Georgia. Then for tomorrow, just a general thunderstorm risk. This covers all of south Georgia, most of middle Georgia. So that go, uh, shows you that this line is going to uh, fizzle out a great deal as it continues to the state overnight tonight. So just keep in mind that severe weather outlook for today actually takes us till 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So this is going to be a late night and early Friday morning event, and then that line will fizzle as uh, we continue through the day tomorrow. So what we'll do, we'll stay right here, and we'll take a look at the modeling starting at 8 o'clock this morning. This is our uh, high-res rapid refresh model. This is a good one to look at as far as determining our thunderstorm timing. So we'll just continue through the day today. Light showers over north Georgia in the early morning hours. Now we're getting into the afternoon hours around 2.45 or so this afternoon. A little bit more shower activity in north Georgia. Really going to watch this line start to move in in, uh, from Alabama into West Georgia along I-20. This is around 6.36 this uh, evening, and then by 7 o'clock tonight, that's when we're going to start to see those strong to severe thunderstorms popping up, possibly around Rome, crossing the interstate uh, up toward Murray County. And then 8 o'clock tonight, more thunderstorms moving in. So we stay weather aware with this line after 7 o'clock. So let's continue on in. Now we're starting to head toward uh, midnight. This is 11.13 estimated uh, showers, some strong thunderstorms over the North Georgia mountains continuing to stretch down uh, into uh, northwest Georgia. And then let's continue through the overnight hours. This is 1.30 in the morning. Those thunderstorms continue in North Georgia. And you can see that line is starting to broaden out a great deal. The uh, front part of the line stretching right down I-85 through Atlanta. So we'll look out for a few embedded thunderstorms. It could be severe. And then that secondary line still bringing a lot of rain in northwest Georgia. So flooding could be a concern. As you can see, it's going to be raining for hours in some spots in northwest Georgia and up toward the mountains. So we're going to watch out for that. So we head toward 450 in the morning. Thunderstorms are still there, but now we're starting to see it really diminish as we uh, go after a sunset tomorrow morning. And then two lines there, very distinct, going to be moving through 8 o'clock or so tomorrow morning uh, into Vidalia, the first line. That second line still going to be moving out of southeast metro Atlanta. And then um, you see the two lines themselves just starting to really fizzle as it heads towards the coastline by late tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow afternoon, we should be clear across the state of Georgia. Some leftover showers possible in southeast Georgia, but those skies will be clearing throughout most of the state. And that is cooler and drier air moving in on the backside. So just weather aware, northwest Georgia after 7 o'clock. We'll keep an eye out for a few strong to severe thunderstorms continuing to move through the state through the overnight hours. Just make sure you have a way to get those uh, warnings if they are issued. And, of course, we'll be up with you right here on the Georgia Weather Net. If you have any uh, tornado warnings or any large clusters of severe thunderstorm warnings, I'll let you know about that, and we'll uh, track that through the late night and possibly into the overnight hours tonight, but our uh, tornado risk is relatively low on this. We're going to be watching out for some strong straight line winds with uh, some of those segments that could bow uh, on the uh, as far as the storms are concerned. So that's the very latest. We'll continue to keep you up to date. Here's your local forecast now from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.